I am happy to be joined by Jessica Borga once again, and she will compete next December 10th at Bellator 254. Jessica, how are you? Awesome. I'm glad to have a fight again. <laughs> I know, right? What, what has this whole pandemic been like for you? Because it's been well over a year since you last fought. I know. That's the longest I've been out of the cage, too. I try to stay consistent as possible, and it's been a pain. I had one schedule or possibility of one schedule before the COVID thing hit. And that just postponed everything. And then I had another one possibility. It's just, it's up and down. It's like a stupid roller coaster. <laughs> How have things been in Florida? Are things getting back to normal? I've seen kind of conflicting reports as to what it's like when you go out in the community. Honestly, Florida is probably one of the, the ones that <laughs> they talk a lot of smack about because we kind of opened everything up a lot quicker than most so, I mean, we have our rules and certain people abide by them. Certain businesses abide by them more than others. But for the most part, I'm sorry, my dog is like, <laughs> she's really needy. Um, <laughs> but for the most part, I mean, everyone's kind of, they do their thing. If you want to wear your mask, you can. You're not you're requ required to, not where we are anyway. I know there's certain parts of uh, Florida that you know, does it differently, but kind of open back up. <laughs> For sure. How, how has it affected your training? It, has it really uh, affected your ability to, to get in the work that you normally would? No, uh, luckily my coaches and my team, we've all been uh, very consistent through it. We've been uh, consistently in fight camp as always. Um, I'm, I'm really good about like staying consistent with, even if I don't have the gym, which we've, we've, if you have small numbers, you're technically allowed to. So <laughs> we, we train through it. <laughs> uh, but uh, I've been lucky enough to have the people. You know, I have a gym in my house, too. So I get my work in. I, I like to stay consistent and ready no matter what. For sure. Uh, I, I was trying to think about when was the last time I've actually seen you in person. Uh, I, obviously, the both of us know you used to compete for New England fights, and you, you come all the way up to Maine here, uh, and you're now a pro. So you've been you've really taken the step up in competition. So the last time I saw you was in uh, 2017 after you beat uh, Angela Young. So it's been three years. How how has your game evolved since then? I, I try to, I mean, I, I like to say that I'm well-rounded. Um, I definitely worked on the areas that there's always more to improve, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Your dog is adorable, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> She's very needy. But uh, there's always room for me to improve. I'm never going to stop wanting to improve. So I've just been working on what I know I need to work on. Um, depending on the opponent I'm going against too, we work on different areas where I'm, you know, might need a little bit more. Um, I just like to be ready. So I, I'm just working on the game, the, the holes in my game, I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. You know, your Bellator debut was a little over a year now. Uh, you got a round one arm bar win at Bellator 226. Obviously that's got to make you feel pretty happy and, and pleased with your performance when you can get in and get out of there within one round. Uh, what was it like competing, you know, under, under the big lights uh, of, of Bellator, which is probably the second biggest promotion in the world? Yeah, I absolutely love it. Um, it's more, it like fuels my adrenaline. Uh, I love more fans, more crowd. Um, honestly, going to their hometown, you know me. <laughs> I usually go to their hometown. That's how we met. <laughs> I usually fight the people in their hometown. And for me, that's a, little, a different kind of fuel. Um, don't get me wrong. I love fighting for my hometown, but I haven't done that in a while. So I'm used to kind of being the villain coming into their territory. But uh, fighting in, fight in front of 15,000 people, that's, I mean, my dream was coming true. It was, there was nothing better than that. Honestly, it was, it, the, the feeling is nothing has matched it really. <laughs> In three and two now as a pro, what have you learned from the, the two losses uh, that, that you experienced? Well, uh, a lot. I've, th those <laughs> holes in the game. Um, in MMA, honestly, there is always going to be someone that can capitalize on something that you are lacking in. Or if you're just making a mistake, they capitalize on a mistake. So, you know, filling those holes in your game and working hard on things that you know that you need to work on or whatnot, just getting better all the way around. Honestly, I mean, you just learn from the losses. If you don't learn from the losses, you don't get any better. And I think I've shown that I've learned from my losses every time. <laughs> How has that, um, you know, I guess 
work life and you know just family life balance been for you? I mean, obviously uh, you have a, a dog that needs your attention a lot. Like, how have oh, you been able awesome. to? <laughs> how have you been able to to I guess balance all the things that you have on your plate? Because I know you're a busy girl. All the time. Um, I think I'm used to it, honestly. Uh, I, I do very well at condensing my time, uh, working smarter, not harder. So I have a very good way of putting things together in the right way to where I can fit it all in. And everyone's like, I don't know how you do it. I was like, me neither. I'm a jack of many traits and I kind of like to stay busy. So I'm a glutton for punishment, I think. <laughs> do you have any other uh, outside hobbies or anything new that you picked up during the pandemic? Hmm. Not really. Honestly, uh, we moved. So we had a lot going on during like the pandemic, which kind of gave us time to do what we needed to do anyway, uh, when everything was crazy, I guess you could call it. It's still kind of crazy in some areas, but uh, we we made it work. Uh, didn't really get to pick up any new hobbies, unfortunately. <laughs> now, I, I know you have a lot of ink, clearly. Is Do you have anything new? And are you looking to maybe, I guess, fill out the sleeves here or what? Yes, eventually. I swear that is <laughs> little, little by little, I'm getting that done. But I did. I actually got a huge new piece on my thigh. It's going to be pretty much a whole thigh piece. Uh, it's a skull with a phoenix. So it's like a phoenix rising from the ashes. Oh, very cool. Learning from your losses. <laughs> <laughs> How much money do you think you have, I guess, on your body from, from tattoos? Because I would guess it's probably a lot. That makes me sound like a really bad mom. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I want to. Honestly, for a long time, on my defense, I had a sponsor that uh, did most of mine free of charge. I did tip him, so I guess I still kind of paid. <laughs> I don't know. It's a lot. It's yeah. a lot. Okay. Well, I, I had to ask. I, I know that's something that uh, you prioritize there, and that it, it looks good. Now, your, your opponent, uh, Marina. Oh my God, her last name. I, I don't even know how to how to pronounce I it. I'm gonna. As good as yours. <laughs> Yeah, Mok Moknatkina. So that's who you're fighting at Bellator 254, December the 10th. Uh, tell me a little bit about her. She's four and two. She's got four submission wins, but two straight losses. So you might be going in against someone that has, uh, I guess, a chip on their shoulder looking to get back in the win column. What do you feel about her game? Oh, I expect that she's going to, she wants to get back in the win column. Um, she's probably been working hard. I honestly expect to be, I, I'm, <laughs> I view it like I'm going against the best in the world regardless. So I don't, you know, really even look at her losses. If she's anything like me, that just is going to fuel her even more because losses piss me off. <laughs> so um, she's very good. She's just like, honestly, we have a lot. We both win in the first round uh, usually. And she's a good fighter. She's fairly well-rounded. Uh, I know she goes for, you know, legs. She's a Sambo champ. So let me six time. I know a little bit about her, but I'm expecting her to be tough. I like tough. Now, obviously, this will be at the Mohegan Sun, not in front of fans. So that's going to be a little bit different. How do you feel like that's going to affect you for good or bad? Yeah, that won't bother me. It doesn't matter either way, honestly. And I'm like I said, I'm usually the, the villain anyway, so I usually get booed. So this time, at least, you know, USA, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have you been to the Mohegan Sun before? It's an awesome venue. I have actually never been to Connecticut, so unfortunately I will be quarantined in my room, but I will not get to venture out and actually see Connecticut too much, but I'm excited because, you know, I can mark it off my little map I have in my room. <laughs> get your bucket list. Well, I, I've been to a, the last few Bellator shows, and they're really doing a great job there, uh, and everything has been pretty much streamlined as far as the testing goes and, uh, you know, quarantine and everything. I, I believe you'll be able to have a little bit more wiggle room as far as getting out and about after you do the quarantine, but uh, how many times have they tested you already? Have they already started that process? No, uh, not yet. I believe what they said that they, I was going to get tested as soon as I arrive. They are making me go out um, almost a week early. I'm fighting on Thursday, so I think I fly out on Saturday. And so I'm going to get tested once I get there, quarantine, and I believe I get tested again before the fight. Mm -hmm. Even though I'm okay. quarantined, so I'm not sure how that's going to change if it's negative already once. <laughs> whatever. I'll do whatever I need to do to fight. As far as this matchup goes, again, I know this is the next step for you in your career. A win is as important as ever. How do you see this shaking out? Do you feel like this is going to be uh, another quick round, uh, you know, first round you know, victory for yourself? Or do you feel like this could potentially be a dogfight? 
I think she's even expected to be a dog fight. I'm I'm expecting to finish her. I don't really care what round it's gonna be, but um she hasn't been finished yet. And I kinda like that. Just like like Amber Lybrock hadn't been submitted yet. I kinda like to challenge myself in that department <laughs> as well. <laughs> so I, I see myself finishing her. I, I've got to honestly, there's a lot of things this year has been building up inside me, kind of like <laughs> an itch I can't scratch. So I am more than excited to be back in there and finish her. What does a win over Marina do for you? Do you, uh, you know, do you feel like that'll give you the next step up in competition? Does it give you someone on the Bellator roster you might be looking to fight next? Uh, unfortunately, I wanted to move up on the top 10. Um, you know, the, the, as far as I'm, I'm aware, I'm the 10th on the top 10 of the featherweights. Uh, beating Amber Lybrock. Uh, and Amber Lybrock beat Janae Harding. And Janae Harding won over Marina the last fight uh, about a year ago by decision. So technically, I'm not fighting up right now. But, I mean, I'm not putting anything past her. She's a great fighter. And it's who's better that night, honestly. Um, so <laughs> I want to fight better the best I want to you know eventually fight Kat Zingano I want to fight up I want to get to the belt of course I know I know I need to work my way up and right now I'll take whatever I can get just to get back in there so absolutely well again this will be a, a great next step for you what is your current contract right now do you have a couple more fights on your deal or is this the last one yeah no three fights three fights perfect so we're going to see you a lot more then are you hoping to stay active and fight a lot in 2021 God, yes. <laughs> yes. I just, I like to get, I, I honestly, I am ready to take a fight even at, on day's notice. So if they need me to, I have literally been like, <laughs> I've probably been bugging them a lot. <laughs> Is the weight cut uh, pretty easy for you now? Are you close to 145? Yeah, I stay between 150 and 155. So wow. Would I'm you going so down what, to 135. 135 again? Yeah. Would you do that? No, I'm good. I, I honestly, I, I, my last fight was my first 145 fight, and I have not ever felt as good as I did in that fight. My mind was there. My, I didn't have to stress with the weight cut. I focused on the fight. I felt strong, fast. I, I'm good. <laughs> I've never felt so confident in myself. That's great to hear. Well, again, I know a lot of us here, uh, you gained a lot of fans in New England when you came up here and competed. So everyone will be watching you uh, again, December the 10th, Bellator 254, when Jessica Borgen meets Marina Moknatkina. And I butchered that, but I did my best. It's good to see you. <laughs> I, I want to give you the floor if you have any sponsors that you may have or anyone you want to thank. Uh, the floor is yours. Yeah, absolutely. Honestly, um, Titan Medical, uh, I, I appreciate everything that they do to help me recover as well as your CBD store, um, B&L Tires, everyone in Lakeland <laughs> has been there since the get-go pretty much. Um, the Chiropractic Center of Lakeland, they always keep me in line <laughs> to be able to do what I do, as well as recovery, uh, Lakeland Cryo and Recovery. Everything, I didn't realize how much recovery was needed when I first started in this game, and I really wish I knew how important it was then, <laughs> but man, it makes a heck of a difference. So I just appreciate everyone, my team, my everyone that's been helping me get where I need to be. Warrior Combat and Fitness Academy and Champions MMA. You guys are the real deal. You guys have made me who I am and I wouldn't be where I am without you guys.